Hi. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So uh, let me share the screen as well. Yeah. So in the last class, uh, we were discussing about the Google business listing, right? Sir. Right. Yes. So anybody has any questions with regard to Google business listing? So, so far we have learned about SEO and Google business listing, correct? Yes. Okay. So today what we will do is see the Google business listing is segregated under the section called local SEO. Okay. So apart from that, we also have a couple of other things to be taken care in the local SEO. So we're going to uh, uh, discuss them today. Okay. You all see the screen, right? Yes, sir. So anybody has questions with regard to Google business listing? the local uh, the queries with local index the queries with local index one second hello yeah yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so the main goal is, uh, so all these queries near me, nearby, uh, around me, all this will convey the local intention. So in order to tap in such searches, you need to have a Google business listing. Apart from Google business listing, you can also do couple of other things. You can also do couple of other things. So which are those things we're going to look into them today. Okay, Google business listing anyways, we have understood in our previous class. And today we will look into other implementations which will support our local SEO. Okay, so local business directory. Second implementation is local business directories. So you all know this local business directories. And everyone so uh, if you're not seeing it full screen so uh, you see this right click on this dots on all of your computers everybody so click on this dots and change layout so click on change layout and take it to spotlight spotlight will increase the width of this screen what you see okay do you observe that That this one also can be minimized and you can move this wherever you want clear everyone sir. Yes, sir. yeah yes. so that the screen will be properly visible for you yeah click on this dot change layout and pick the spotlight okay What kind of jobs? So do one thing. So you please send your profile uh, uh, to us to jobs at the red Kandra Digital. We'll look into them in the next class. Kandra Digital website. Digital, digital. Just Google Kandra Digital. You just add that domain name jobs at the red Kandra Digital website. Yeah. Next. How did you get this number? 
How did you get this number? Online. Where, where, and how exactly? So, where and how exactly you got this number? Yeah, on net only. So, net here is match you, right? Did you get it on Flipkart and Amazon? No, I didn't. So, where did you get that number? Get this number. Send you a profile. Yeah, sorry, everyone. Yeah, so uh, you all, uh, we all earlier discussed about the local business directories, they are the repository or database of the businesses who have opted in for the listing of their business in the respective local areas or niches. Okay, so there are directories, region specific directories, only HSR, only Bombardly, only uh, Kormangla. So only Sajapur may, may have the directories or uh, maybe for the Bangalore. So all this can be considered to be as a regional directories. Yeah. So how do you benefit from such listings is do follow backlink. Not all the directories provide do follow backlinks. If you are explicitly looking for do follow backlinks, directories are not the best option. Correct. So directories mainly contribute for leads and sales to reap maximum list on the to reap maximum from directories list on niche specific maximum from directories list on the niche specific and most popular directories most popular directories relevant to your location or area so and this directories also contribute for referral, referral traffic and uh, visitor a uh, visitor coming from other websites to your website organically is called as referral traffic branding popular directories brings the best visibility for the right audiences and this enhances the brand visibility and recognition yeah so how do you get your business listed All these four points clear? Did you understand what local directories and how you get your business listed over there? So most of the business directories accept the listing for free. You can register an account, provide all the details and publish your profile. Most of the times there will be email and phone number verification and then submit the appropriate details. Some of the directories seek a payment to list your business. If you think it's going to be beneficial and you have the budgets. You have the budgets for the paid listing go ahead and do it so not uh, all the directories will accept your listing on them you may have to pay to some of the directories so that's when you can pay and you can uh, register yourself on those portals so that you get the business if you believe that they, they can contribute for your business if you think they can generate leads or in case if they are providing you a do follow backlink maybe you can go ahead and do that yeah here are some examples of local directories, Just Dial, Suleka, Yellow Pages, India Mart, Trade India, Super Article. See, all of these are going to indicate that you belong to that region. And so people from that region now, when they see you on Google, the CTR will improve, the chance of they clicking on it will be high. Right? And this directory support in multiple ways as we discussed here. And hence, this implementation can be considered to be as a local SEO. Yeah. Clear? Here are some examples. You see that? Any questions with regard to the directories? Everybody? Do I understand what a directory is? Are you all there? Yes, understood. Understood? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, understood. Yeah. So there is another implementation. Some of the implementations like geo tags. Geo tags, language tags, and adding the images and videos to the related page. So we will understand what are these geo tags. 
So geo tags are the HTML tags used to indicate the coordinates, longitude and latitude of the location in order to bot to understand the precise location of the place or business. So for example, the monuments in a tourism place, there will be multiple monuments. So each of this monument will have its own longitude and latitude. And you can drop that longitude and latitude on the web page, which is speaking about Kutub Minar, which is speaking about uh, some monument, some zoo, some temple or some structure, whatever it is. So if the web page is speaking about, let's say Mysore Zoo, if the web page is speaking about Bangalore Palace, so on that Bangalore Palace page, you can drop in meta name zero position content and the longitude and latitude of it. So this is a clear education for bots indicating that the page web page belongs to local region. It's a local physical location or a local structure or a monument or whatsoever. It's a highlight whatsoever. So this is going to help them to give the local affinity to the page and start showing up on Google very easily in the local searches or in the local region, right? So how do you get that longitude and latitude? So you go to that position of the place, right click on it or double click on it, you will get to see. See now I have clicked on Canada Digital, you see that longitude and latitude. You see that 12.92118, eight, seventy-seven point six five one five seven. So on Google Maps, you can find longitude and latitude for any place. Yeah, you see that here? Everyone? Yes. Yeah. So you can use this longitude and latitude and you can drop that information on your web page wrapped in a tag. The tag will look like this. Meta name geo position content. Yeah, clear. The well, next implementation is indicating the language. See, in country uh, like India, we majorly our web language is English. Majority of us see websites in English, right? But then there are websites which are in Hindi, Telugu, Tamil, Kannada, Malayalam, various other languages of the country, right? So if your web page is in a language specific to that region, you can add the language tag on your HTML page, HTML language, English or Hindi or Kannada or Tamil, Malayalam, whatsoever it is, right? So this is also helping search engines to understand what the web page is about and from which bots will be able to relate. Okay, so if it is Hindi, it's mostly to the Hindi region and gives that local uh, uh, affinity for that page. There is that local affinity for that page now, right? So bots are able to un understand that that's clearly a local uh, place and they will prioritize to show up that web page on the search results. Language tags are the HTML tags used in HTML of the page to indicate the language used on the web page. Across the globe, the languages vary by the region and this itself indicates the location or country of the business or that particular, of that particular, or that particular website or web page relevancy to the region. Right? At start of the page itself, this will be added HTML language English. Clear? So if you have to indicate that you are a local business, if you have to influence your website visitors as a local uh, business, 
So there is one more thing adding the images and videos related to the region. The images and videos used indicate and communicate their local presence or affinity to the users browsing the web page and engages them better as compared to the top not having them at all. This in turn will help improve the rankings. So now somebody has typed digital marketing training in Bangalore and they are seeing let's say some important let's say they are seeing uh, Charminar on the web page by looking at the Charminar what do they understand they think that's not Bangalore and they will quit in case whether they have read whether it is Bangalore or Hyderabad regardless of that if there is something that is specific to Bangalore is shown on the web page they will be able to relate or understand it belongs to Bangalore right and they will consider or try to spend time over there so basically you adding the images pertaining to that region if you are a local business so your website will have web pages related to various uh, region correct Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai so on those pages you adding an image specific to that region will have an added advantage or advantage right that mostly influences in engagement clear Correct? Yes. Any doubts or questions with regard to this? Sir, how we will, how we will get the exact location if we, we are doing on first day? Where? Location where? What? That uh, log, longitude. I showed it to you, right? So, you have to be, see now you, well, it has to be on the maps. See, to get the longitudes and latitudes, it has to be listed. You need to have a Google business listing. Right? Yeah, uh, after that uh, only we, we get. Yes. Right. So, if I click here and click here. No. So, it has to be on uh, Google. Okay. Okay. That's when you get the longitude and latitude. Okay. Clear, right? Up to here. Okay. Yes. So, so far whatever we have learned is all about SEO, okay. So you can categorize them as local SEO, off-page SEO, technical SEO, site level SEO, on-page SEO, whatsoever, it is all about the SEO, okay. Just that we segregated or grouped all these activities we do under different SEOs, right. So now you have implemented amazing SEO, let's assume. So now what is happening, how do you measure the outcome of your SEO? How do you understand or measure the outcome of SEO? Page will rank on the website. Yeah. So uh, we will go through that today. Which are those important things considered to be as progress in the SEO okay yeah see in the SEO see you are doing all that you do is mainly to rank your website on Google correct organically yes. right second thing is the goal is not to show your brand term on the website the goal is to show your website brand term is now for example for Kandra Digital one second for example for Kandra Digital
the brand term for Kantra Digital is Kantra Digital only. Right? People searching Kantra Digital on Google is called as brand search. So people using terms like digital marketing agency, digital marketing services, digital marketing company, all this doesn't include Kantra Digital anywhere and these are called as non-brand terms. The main goal of SEO is to optimize the website for various non-brand terms and make them rank on Google. And the biggest KPI, the key performance indicator, KPI is key performance indicator. The key performance indicator that indicates progress of your SEO is the rankings of these keywords, the number of keywords that your website is ranking and the position of these keywords which you are ranking. You understood? So the first one is keyword coverage for how many keywords is your website ranking and second one is the ranking of these keywords whichever are ranking. So your website today you have started implementing SEO today and it's not ranking at all correct not ranking for a single keyword and eventually with all of your implementations it will start showing on Google for how many keywords maybe five keywords. And after two months, it will start showing your website on Google for 200 keywords. Maybe after three months, six months, it might start showing on Google for 20,000 keywords. Just ranking your website for 20,000 keywords is not sufficient. You have to make sure, you have to ensure that they all rank in the top and drive traffic to the website. What is the point of your website showing up somewhere? Like for example, let's say Snowflake. Snowflake training in Bangalore right so one two three four one of our client five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixth position Snowflake 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th position. So this way many keywords, this is ranking in 6th position at least. Yesterday it was ranking in 12th position that is 2nd page. 2nd page. Some of the keywords rank on 3rd page, 4th page, 5th page. This way even if you are ranking for 10,000 keywords, there is nothing progress. There is nothing you benefit. So you have to make sure that they all rank on the 1st page. Can you all quickly check this? Uh, keyword snowflake training in Bangalore and tell me where is learn and drive ranking for me it is showing in sixth position one two three four five or above so it is considered to be as a sixth so can you all search this term snowflake training in Bangalore and tell me where is this learn and drive ranking Yeah, anybody? Uh, for me, it is on second page. Second page, right? Yes. So if you're right. Second ranking, page, first position. Yeah, click on it. Yeah, who else? Uh, so see, for me, you see, it's showing in the uh, sixth position because I'm very close to this location. Are you all understanding this see, based on how far you live from this location? Where are you Mohit? Are you in Kerala? Yes. Okay. So Abhishek uh, and everybody else can you all quickly check where is Snowflake training in Bangalore ranking this website.
Nobody is checking it. Can you all tell me where is it ranking on Google? Snowflake training in Bangalore is in second page. Second page or first page? Learn and try. Learn and try, yes, sir. Second position. Second page, sir. Second page, first position or second position? Second page, second first position. Position. Second page, first position. Sir. Okay, okay, okay. So that is 11th position or 12th position. See now, it is varying for everyone. Just click on that result and uh, uh, observe uh, this web page and who are ranking in the top. I'll tell you. You come up with your own set of observations. We will be discussing them in the upcoming classes in the competitor analysis. Okay. Anyways. So, Nirup and uh, Anjum, so where is it ranking for you? Sir, 10th place, sir. 10th place. Okay. And Anjum, where is the ranking for you? Okay, so now uh, that is one key key performance indicator. CTR is another. See, keyword coverage is first thing. Rankings is the second thing. CTR is third thing. Hygiene STO metrics such as index count, HTTP status code, crawl rate, etc., which we are going to look into today. Zero technical issues. The best performance of the website. The quick load times. Content activities published regularly. High quality content as per the need of the website. The backlinks, you need to have more quality links flowing to your website from other websites. Internal links, your web pages should be linked very well within the website and each page should have good number of internal links in order to perform well. So did you all understand from point 1 to 9? First one is your website should rank for as many keywords as possible. Second one, for all those keywords, the rankings have to improve. Third thing, there has to be a very good CTR as well. And your SEO metrics like page index count, HTTP status load, the crawling, the performance, all of this also will be countered, technical issues, right? Your load times have to be very quick. Up to 0.6, it's all about that. And then content activities, what kind of content you are publishing and how often you are publishing on the website. Even this would be one of the metric KPI in the SEO, right? And then the backlinks in terms of quantity and quality both have to be assessed. Quantity, quality, regularity, right? Quantity, quality and regularity of the links built to your website. Internal links again, your web page should be linked very well within the website and each page should have good number of internal links in order to perform well. So how do we, see we are telling that, but how do we measure, how do we understand? So for example, if you take example of learn and drive, how do you understand for how many keywords learn and drive is ranking and how do you understand? See manually you all searched snowflake training in Bangalore and you are struggling to identify the position. So now even if it is ranking for 10,000 keywords, first thing is we don't know if it is really ranking for 10,000 keywords or 20,000 keywords. We have no clue. Second thing, even if we somehow understand where do the rank is another important aspect or thing we have to understand. And third thing, CTR. How do you know what is the CTR that your website is getting? Correct. How do you know? You all know the meaning of CTR, right? Click through rate. Yeah. Can you define it? It's a percentage of clicks that we are getting for our website. Then it is called as clicks only, not CTR.
clicks that you are getting to your website against the number of people uh, seeing number of people seeing you number of see people seeing you thousand was an example number of people seen can be 12972 so number of clicks got to your website is 1200 1200 divided by 12976 will be somewhere around 10 percentage correct understood all of you so how do we measure where do we measure the ctr of your websites and not only that we have written so many other things the performance hygiene seo metrics where do you measure how do you measure zero technical errors where do you measure how do you measure performance optimization to its best as per the standards we have used some tools in the past to monitor the performance content activities how do you understand the backlinks how do you understand if if the website has good number of backlinks quality backlinks right how do you measure internal links to your web pages so to answer for most of this is there is an amazing tool called google search console what is that google search console there is an amazing tool called google search console part of the tool google search console yes we'll look into it now we'll understand or study how to read all of this data from point 1 to 9 okay see every website owner or every digital marketer if they are working on seo they have to do this they have to implement this they have to sign up for an account called google search console which is free to use for everyone which is free to use for everyone okay register for our respective search engine search console account and access the kpis over there for example google search console so there is a big search console as well right so you will be registering google search console big search console whichever you want right so here are some steps you just go to google and search google search console click on it and then get started okay so you will see something like this you have to submit your domain name here if you'll ask you to submit your domain name after submitting it 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 it, it ask you to verify by logging into your hosting provider or you will have to add this piece of code to your website this code you see this code you will have to add that piece of code to the website and after adding this code to your website you are going to click on verify so how do you add this code okay so each step i let me write so you are okay up to here clear next thing is number 3 you can add your root domain or any prefix prefix url url prefix
usually the code is added by the developers to the header files so that it applies to all of the pages so if your website is built on wordpress and has access for you you can go to the following path and add it by yourself which is that path appearance theme editor pick the theme or header dot php click on uh, add the code add the code in the head section of html and submit okay i'll show it to you how to do that yeah so you see here so this is a slightly different this is called as multi site so you'll have to go to themes here theme file editor So after clicking on it so you can select uh, so to the right side you will see various files it's loading just hold on yeah see here you see there is something called as header header dot php theme header theme footer so this is header and in this code so you are going to add in the head section after this you see head is opening here head is closing here anywhere you can add before closing the head tag okay Yeah, after adding that code you have to just click on update file done before closing of the vinay head tag and click on submit right after hot water ne after submit you have to come back to search console and click on verify you will get verified and you will and and search console will start displaying 
the data so if your website is previously already submitted on search console through other ids now after your verification you will start you will start seeing the data immediately if your submission or creation of search console is the first time it would take some time to start tracking the tracking the data got it everyone clear so it will start showing data like this we are going through the tool itself we are going to learn all of it on the tool now yeah so let me come here yeah so this is your search console reading data so we have to go through all of the sections one by one so if you are starting now we may have to stop it in between so what i'll do is we'll uh, start this topic in the coming class in tomorrow's class you all can tell me if you have any doubts with whatever we have discussed today